Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to change your FEP or FEP. Um, there are times when your FEP gets so beat up it's time for a change. I usually change it if definitely if there's any kind of a micro perforation or hole that would leak to your screen that would be very detrimental. I don't change if there's little scratches that usually doesn't affect the print but this one has gotten some real deterioration and stretching some uh, abused prints happen here so I'm going to go ahead and change that. Um, some things that you're going to need to do that is you're going to need some FEP. Uh, Epax and other brands make this NFEP which supposedly is um, a lot less sticky for the prints to stick to. It's a lot better. You could get a large roll of FEP as well and cut it down per use. You're going to need a sharp exacto blade. I like these little break off blades. And you're going to need a 2.5 millimeter hex screwdriver for the screws. I also tend to love these things, especially when you have so many screws you have to deal with. Um, you also have to have some alcohol and paper towel. I like to clean the part very well. Um, especially after I remove the FEP, there's probably some resin trapped under here. Uh, and I like to work over paper towel once I'm ready. So let me get to it. I'll show you the steps. The first thing we want to do is unscrew or at least loosen the screws slowly. And you work in opposite corners as much as possible. Don't ever just loosen one completely and then the next because you run the risk of stripping screws, of bending the flange. So I'm just going around. I'm not taking them out. I'm just loosening the first contact until I've got them all loosened. And then I'm going to switch over to my automatic screwdriver. It's nice to work over a slap mat because it will keep the resin contained and also your screws uh, will keep them from rolling onto the floor. <laughs> all your little parts. Okay, I believe I've got all the screws loosened. So I'm going to go back over to my driver. 2.5 millimeter head once again. I'm going to take them out one at a time. Once again, opposite corners is always a great practice when screwing to get together or taking apart any of these assemblies. Okay, that's all the screws. Now we're going to pop out the FEP and this bezel. And you're going to notice that it had a lot of trapped resin. You might also want to work with gloves in this case. So I'm going to throw away this FEP and I'm going to clean this off. Let me come around to throwing that away. And I'm going to drop this into some alcohol to help me with the cleaning. I'm also going to bring this over into the alcohol. You can see there's a lot of resin in the bottom. I'll probably give it a quick wipe first just to get rid of some of that resin. I'll let those sit for like five minutes and then clean them off. In the meantime, I'll clean my workstation. Okay, now that they've been sitting for quite a while, I'm going to take the vat out. I'm going to give it a pretty little wipe down, get rid of any alcohol. This is a nice time to just do some general maintenance on your vat. Make sure that it is clean, free of any extra residue, and that the channels are free of resin. Since those threads could have some resin and alcohol in them, I'm going to leave this upside down to try to drain. And I'm going to do the same thing with the bezel. Just clean it off thoroughly. Okay, and I'm going to work over a fresh piece of paper towel because I don't want my FEP to get dirty right away. Let me go ahead and dry it off one more time.
Okay, once we've gotten that far, we're ready to reassemble. I'm going to take off my gloves to make this a little easier on myself. So the first thing you want to do is take out your FEP sheet. Okay, this is NFEP, in this case by EPEX, and kind of lay it over the top in a centered fashion. And then we're going to take our bezel, and you can see there's countersunk holes. You want the countersink sunk areas to be on the top. There's actually some registration prongs on the bottom of this one. Most of them have that. And we want to position this over and kind of semi push it down. Then what we're going to do is we're going to use the screw to, with a little bit of force to pierce the FEP and just start biting in. We don't want to screw too much. Once again, we're going to work in opposite corners. We're going to work our way around. The objective of this is the more that we screw down, the more that it pulls the top like a drum head. It gets you a really nice taut FEP. So I'm just going to keep on working opposite corners. Make sure the screw is kind of cutting through the FVP and biting into the thread. Yeah. Okay, I'll do this. And this is going to have to be cut with this angle. Okay, I've semi-seated all of the screws. You can see it's kind of tight. Now as we screw down further, it's really going to stretch that FEP nice, nicely and tightly. So I'm just going to go around once again in the opposite corners, same way that I took this apart. I'm going to start to cinch these things down, not completely. You want to work slowly and evenly. If you have an automated screwdriver, you could start using that now. Okay, I've got them all seated and now I'm going to go by hand. I want to make sure that I have enough pressure that it's all the way down, but not too much that I'm stripping the threads. Sometimes that your hand should be able to almost turn it just with like a finger pressure. It might seem like a tedious process, but this is the best way to get a really nice stretch. Almost there. You can see the FEP has really become nice and flat and stretched out by this bezel. Okay, I'm just going to double check all of my screws. I'm just going right around one, so I didn't skip any of them. That one was skipped. Okay. okay, they are all very well seated. The FEP has a nice ring to it. You don't want to touch it too much, but it's nice and flat. It's nice and stretched. I could see that the bezel is below the level of the FEP, which is giving it the nice stretch. No screws are sticking out. So the last step is to trim this excess material with a very sharp X-Acto blade or a razor blade. Be careful of your hands. Always orient your hand behind the blade. We don't want to cut your hands by accident on this one. I'm just kind of following it around as I go. And then give it a careful inspection that we don't have any excess 
FEP sticking up. If you do, you could always go back in and trim a little bit. And you'll notice the whole time I'm working either over a piece of paper towel, trying to keep the FEP clean and free. If I put it down, I put it down on a new piece of paper towel. And there it is, perfectly installed. And we're ready to go and print. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you guys have any other tricks and find it to be very successful.